Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So a day or so ago, we looked at some upcoming features in Firefox that are being tested currently in Firefox 127 nightly, which is the equivalent to Edge Canary or Chrome Canary. So it's an early preview version, and we looked at three new features that could roll out with 127 stable in a month or two's time. And I'll leave that video in the end screen now. It seems that Firefox 127 nightly, there's quite a lot going on. And just a quick look at three more features that we could see roll out when version 127 moves from nightly down to the stable in a month or so's time. Now, first of all, the first one is that uh, Firefox could be getting bounce tracking protection. And I'm just going to mention this one because this is basically an under the hood uh, feature. And it's a new anti-tracking feature that works very similar to existing protections that um, redirect tracking in Firefox. So instead of using a tracker list, it relies on heuristics to detect bounce trackers. And basically what the feature does, it prevents websites from using bounce tracking to monitor your browsing activity. Now, if you are asking what bounce tracking uh, is all about, um, here's how it works. So when you click a link on a website, you might be taken without you knowing through a hidden website controlled by an advertiser or analytics company and then what happens is this site might set a cookie or store information about your visit before redirecting you back to your original destination so basically it takes you down a rabbit trail and then redirects you um, back to your original site so this often happens quickly and you don't even realize this is taking place so what bounce tracking protection does, it prevents this by identifying and clearing any cookies or data these hidden websites um, involved in bounce tracking may have stored about you and your device and your browsing habits. So that's under the hood treatment that could be rolling out in version 127, currently being tested in the nightly version, bounce tracking protection. And... By the way, just on a side note, both Google Chrome and Brave already support this feature, bounce tracking. So obviously Firefox is trying to play a little bit of catch up here with Chrome and Brave. And then the next one is you will be able to manage multiple profiles from the main menu. Now, until now, if you wanted to manage multiple profiles, uh, you had to head up to your address bar and enter about colon and that would be about colon profiles. So let's just put in a P there. There we go. And yeah, you would be able to manage your profiles, which is a bit of a schlep if you think of it compared to um, other browsers like Google Chrome as an example. Now, Mozilla now seems to be addressing this issue uh, and developing the ability in version 127 to view, manage, and create new Firefox profiles now directly from the hamburger menu uh, in the profiles sub menu so what you will see here i'm showing this in stable but i'm sure you'll get the general idea so what you will see just below yeah is your profiles and then you will have a sub menu so if you have different profiles um the profiles menu will display all the firefox profiles you have created which will allow you to launch any of them and close the current profile or create a new one so basically you'll be able to manage your profiles directly uh, from the main menu without having to head back to about colon profiles to manage your profiles, which I actually think um, has been a long time coming and, as I would say, would be a step in the right direction. And then the third and final one we're looking at in this video is um, Firefox will display um, weather in the address bar, which it currently doesn't. So basically, if I do a search in Firefox for weather... Okay, that's what it gives me, all right? Now, if I head over to Google Chrome and I do the same thing, you can see it displays a suggestion here for the weather, which is just a quick glance, and it gives me the region and the actual uh, temperature and so on. So I think that's a nice move, and that's what I'm talking about. So you'll be able to get the ability to display weather information in version 127 in the address bar when you input the query weather but the only problem with this is a slight little catch with this and it's going to be a sponsored suggestion 
So when you see that weather show up, um, as I showed you in Chrome, it maybe will sponsor a weather service next to it or advertise a weather service um, right next to the suggestion, which is a little bit unfortunate. But nonetheless, um, being able to see the weather from the address bar, I always think is a nice kind of quick shortcut. And as mentioned, these features are being tested currently in Firefox 127 nightly. And although um, these have a possibility to roll out, um, they are not guaranteed to roll out with any particular release or may never see the light of day. But I'm um, just keep it, bringing it to your attention that um, we could be getting three new features when Firefox 127 hits the stable channel. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.